Hello dear parents, I am Annie, a Novaki teacher and a mom of two kids. My children are at the age where they are discovering the world, learning new things and mastering important skills. I always join and support them on these adventures. You might think that because I'm a teacher, I use top secret techniques and methods. Well, there are no secrets. You don't need special education to help your children learn. What you really need is enthusiasm, creativity and patience because sometimes our little ones can become a little bit crazy. So let me reveal the secret. How to make the process of studying easy and fun. Let's start. Today I want to share with you some of my ideas on how to teach your children to count. The first basic thing is to prepare flashcards with numbers. You can draw them on your own or print them out from the internet, so we have some flashcards ready. Our main goal is to show each card to your kids and pronounce the numbers several times, like this. One. 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 Two, 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 and so on. I'd recommend starting with the first five numbers. This way your kids won't be overloaded with the information and will be able to memorize the numbers faster. Like I said, we introduce numbers from one to five, repeating each number several times. Then we name the numbers one by one and ask our kids to repeat them. One. Point to your kid showing that it's their turn now. Repeat each number several times. Now count from one to five, pointing to the corresponding numbers. This way we show our kids the right order of the numbers. Once you finish, ask kids to name the numbers. Point to each card and encourage them to name the numbers. If they can't tell, don't push them. Learning new things can be stressful. Show your support and let them know it's okay to make mistakes. They are part of the learning process. Another useful exercise with flashcards can be the following. Place numbers in the wrong order and ask your kids to put them in their places from one to five. Thus they develop their visual memory. Once the numbers are placed in the correct order, count them once again. Before continuing with the next number six to 10, Make sure your kids have memorized the numbers from one to five. Teach the rest in the same way and later combine the two groups and drill counting from one to 10. You can turn counting into an adventure. Place flashcards on the floor at random intervals with the distance between them equal to the child's step. Set the starting line next to the number one and the finish line next to the number 10. To motivate your child, place a treat at the finish line. We all know that kids love sweets. Our treasure map is ready. You need to name the numbers from one to 10 and your kid can step on the card with the numbers and name it as well. The goal is to make 10 steps. Name all the numbers and receive a treat. After the first round, you can switch roles. This way you will show your kids that you are part of the learning process. Intentionally choose the wrong number so your kids correct you Correction is one of the ways to memorize the information. Another way to practice counting is by making it part of your daily routine. For example, count toys together while packing them in the box. Repeat the numbers and clean the house at the same time. It's the perfect match. Go on a number hunt together and discover places where numbers are used. For example, a clock, a television and a telephone. Point to the number and ask your kid to name it. Make a competition who finds more objects at home with numbers. It's going to be fun. I really hope that you found this video useful and I could prove that teaching your kids the basics of English is not something that is impossible. These fun at home activities combined with online lessons will produce results that you'll be able to see right away. Write in the comments what topics you want us to cover in our next videos and we will gladly prepare more useful content for you. Bye-bye for now and see you soon!